All right, we're going to make a simple little game like this one. So when we detach the object, it will go somewhere else. That's the first little game we're going to make before we expand on it. How do we do that? Good question. Well, we're going to set a background first. So when run, we're going to go into world, set background. You can choose a bazillion backgrounds. Let's go with this one. Okay. Now we're going to make a new sprite. Sprites, make a new sprite. And we can choose our sprite under costumes. We can go to this costumes here to choose a new one. And we can go under new costume. We can upload an image, we can draw our own, or we can choose from many, many others. So go back to code. Now it's still that, so let's go in and change that. And there it is there. I'm going to put his location somewhere slightly different. So I'm going to click on that little pin and I'm going to sit him there. Next thing, I'm going to make a new behavior for my sprite. Sprite begins and I'm going to go back into behaviors and select moving with arrow keys. Let's test it so far. What's wrong with it? I didn't change this. Remember, you always have to change the sprite to whatever sprite you've created. It needs to be the same sprite that is going to do the behavior. So let's run that again now. And that's much better. Going to create another sprite. So make new sprite. Don't want a robot. I want something different. So let's go into costumes. You can go to costumes here, or you can go to costumes here. It's the same thing. New costume. Christmas present. Back to code. Change that to Christmas present. Change its location. And I want my present to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go in sprites. Set the size of the of that to fifty, knowing that a hundred is standard. Fifty is good. So we want it that when we grab the present, that it goes somewhere else. So we want to create. So that when something touches something else, we'll have an action. So when the emoji touches the present, what's going to happen when we do that? I'm going to go to jump to random location. Let's try it. What did I do wrong? I didn't change this. Make sure the sprite matches the sprite. Run. So far, so good. 
Now I want to put a title on my game, so we're going to go to text, show title screen, I'm going to add this at the start, let's move this down here, so title screen will be uh, the name of my little game. Catch the Christmas Prezi. Can't think of anything better. I'll put a subtitle in as well. Now, I don't want that title to be there the whole time. So, we need to put in a two second timer thing. So, we'll add another event. And we'll go over here. We'll make it three seconds for now. So at three seconds, we want the text to disappear, hide title text, hide title screen. This is the title screen. Let's run it and see what happens. All right. That works. We could make it that the present doesn't show up until that text goes away. So to do that, we just go down to uh, make a new sprite um, and just drag that into the here. So that'll be three seconds. Let's run that. So I can play the game, I can move my guy around, but this won't show up until three seconds. Great. And that's my first little game done. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a bad guy, a um, antagonist, if you like, make the game a little bit more interesting.